So in this video, we're going to talk about naming uh, monatomic ions. All right. And so let's just jump into it. It's actually pretty, pretty simple concept. All right. So first thing first, and just to try to make sure that we understand what we mean by monatomic, right? Mono simply means one. So we're just looking at just a single ion and how we, how we name them. Okay. And so when atoms become ions, you know, depending on what type of atom it is, depends on how we, we change the name of it. All right. And this is, this is true across the scientific community. It helps that, you know, um, if someone in the U S wants to talk about a particular ion to someone who, to a scientist who lives in, you know, in China, you know, even though languages may be different, but the way that, you know, we change the names, these names, these names are very, you know, they're universal. They go across all languages. All right. This is the scientific language. So let's, let's think like, like scientists. All right. We're scientists. So let's talk about it. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about, the first type of, of elements, I want to talk about the main group elements. All right. The main group, the main group metals really specifically. All right. So what are the main group metals? Let's, let's point those out real quick. So let's look into our periodic table and let's let's highlight our main group elements, our main group metals specifically. So the main group metals, so just that you remember what the main groups are. So here are the main group. Your main groups are your first two columns. We skip over the transition and then we have the last six. So this is considered to be the main groups. Okay. Now when we're talking about the metals themselves, the specific metals, all right, so the main group metals consist of the first two rows, so all uh, the first two columns. So the alkali and the alkaline earth metals. All right, so these are um, our main group metals, and specifically these three elements. All right, aluminum, gallium, indium. So these are our main group metals. Okay, now when it comes to naming them when they become ions it's really really simple they keep their regular name and we call them ion right and so like for example if you have a potassium right and it becomes an ion we'll just simply say a potassium i'm having a hard time spelling this a potassium ion or another example if you have magnesium okay so here's magnesium and it becomes an ion, we would just simply say this is a magnesium ion. Same thing for like aluminum. Oh, well, let's, let's start with a neutral aluminum. So, or aluminum, depending on which side of the world you're from. Aluminum, and it becomes a three plus charge. It will, we'll simply call this an aluminum ion. Okay, so when it comes to main group elements, main group element metals, all right, we just call them by their, uh, we just stick an ion at the very end. That's, that's as simple as that. Now we're going to talk about our um, non main group metals, right? Um, and so this is true of, you know, these guys. So the transition metals, I shouldn't even highlight this in different color. So your transition metals. Um, also, this is true with your what we call the heavy metals, and these are down here. Okay. Now these metals, uh, transition metals or the heavy metals, um, they can actually form more than one type of cation. So the main group elements, the main group um, metals, what we talked about before, they all only become one type of atom. Potassium will always be a plus one. Magnesium will always be a plus two. Aluminum will always be a plus three always okay but if you have something like for example um chromium right chromium could either be a chromium two plus or chromium three plus so how will we be able to tell the difference between the two all right and so the way that the, the, the way that we tend to do this now, and we're going to talk about the newest way, there's kind of an older way of doing things, but this is 2021. So we're going to stick to the, the here and nows. All right. And so the way that we typically write this, so obviously the, the old element is chromium, right? 
when it becomes an ion, so let's just say it becomes a a two plus ion, a chromium plus two, right? Then we'll say chromium. Then we're gonna write a Roman numeral two. That Roman numeral two is gonna represent the ion, and we're gonna say a chromium two ion, all right? What about if it's a chromium plus three? Well, we're gonna write chromium in Roman numerals. We'll write the three Roman numeral, and then we're gonna write ion. Okay, and so that's how we we typically do this for our transition metals or for, for our heavy metals. All right, because these type of metals typically can form different types of of charges. All right, and so they they don't always stick to just one. All right, so let's look at let's look at another example. Um, so copper, right? Copper is another one. So Cu, copper could either be a Cu plus plus one, or it could be a Cu plus two. Okay, and so let's write the difference. So we have regular copper. If it becomes a copper plus one, then we'll just simply write copper Roman numeral one ion okay if it's a copper plus two then we'll just simply write copper roman numeral two ion okay let's look at one more example so let's look at the atom of mn so this right here is manganese now manganese is somewhat of a, of a beast of a, of a transition metal because it could become manganese two plus manganese three plus manganese four plus manganese six plus or manganese seven plus <laughs> all right so it could actually become five different types of of ions right and so let's just kind of go through them for the sake of going through them. So the first one, the manganese two plus, if we were to just to identify the 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 ion itself, we'll just simply write manganese Roman numeral two ion. Okay. What about the manganese three plus? Well, manganese Roman numerals three ion. What about manganese four plus? Manganese Roman numerals four ion, manganese six plus, manganese Roman numerals six ion, and then last manganese seven plus, manganese Roman numeral seven ion. Okay, and so this is how we um, basically name these transition or heavy metals um, ions. Okay. Now, the last thing that we need to talk about as for the naming schemes is your anions. So how do we deal with anions? So anions are just a little bit different in this case and how we um, name them. OK, and so for anions, what we typically do is that we will typically replace. All right. The ending of the of the elements name. with the suffix "-ide", okay? And then you want to follow um, by, the, by the word "-ion", okay? So what do I mean by that? So let's, let's look at um, bromine, right? So bromine is Br. When it becomes Br negative, so now it's no longer the bromine. Is now it, we call it a bromide. So we got rid of the last part, bromide ion. Okay. Um, let's look at other examples. So, like chlorine. Chlorine is Cl. Okay. When it becomes a Cl negative, when it becomes an anion, we have chloride ion okay um so usually i think what seems typically works usually it's like you keep like the first syllable of the word and then you just replace the rest with the i like you know here's an here's a really good example of this oxygen which is a o right 
and then when it becomes an O negative two, we have oxide. All right. Um, I know some people are, are tempted to say oxide. Um, no, that's not the case. Is oxide? Here's another really get a good example of that where he has phosphorus, right? Which is P, and when it becomes a a anion, we have phosphide. All right. Um, so it's a little play of words, but that's typically the way this works. Um, another example, sulfur, right? So when sulfur becomes an anion, it becomes sulfide. Okay. Um, so just kind of get used to these ion names. I mean, I know in the very beginning, you're probably like, okay, how do I know which letters to add to the, and which letters to take away? Um, don't stress about that too much. I think the more we use the, the this these terminologies, the more we use these terms, the easier you're going to remember it. All right. So don't don't stress too much about is it solide, sulfide, phosphide, phosphide, you know, oxide, oxide. As we talk about this more and more and more in class, then it's it's going to stick. All right. And so don't don't stress it too much. And most important thing, I just want you to be able to figure out between one and the other of these monoatomic ions. Right. Um, and you know that you have your main group metals. All right. So just kind of going back and just reviewing your main group metals. All you're doing is just adding ions at the end. That's it. All right. When you get to your transition metals, all right, and your heavy metals, you're you have to talk about the charge because sometimes some of these metals, some of these atoms will have several charges. And so the charge always are represented by the Roman numeral, okay, of the magnitude of the charge. So chromium plus two is chromium two ion, okay, or Roman numeral two ion. Chromium plus three is chromium Roman numeral three ion. And then when we finally get to our anions, all right, we replace the last part of the of the element's name with the suffix "-ide", and then the word "-ion". Okay, so bromine, bromide, ion. Um, oxygen, oxide, ion. Um, sulfur, sulfide, ion. Iodine, iodide, ion. Okay, so that's the names. Okay, see you next time.